Hello crafters, Andre here. I just thought I'd share a, well, it's not a quick haul, but it's a haul, a ginormous haul. Um, as many of you know who follow me, I am from Indiana. Actually, I'm from Fort Wayne, and I now live in Ohio, but I live in an area of Ohio, which is actually by Toledo, that is not near any scrapbook stores. They actually closed all the scrapbook stores when right before I moved here, actually, the last one. And so all I have is like Joann's, Hobby Lobby's, and Michael's, which I'm not complaining too badly, but when you're used to having scrapbook stores and being able to buy some of the specialty stuff, it kind of sucks when all you have is Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Michael's. So needless to say, I do a lot of online shopping, but I had a trip to Indiana to see my mother because my family all still live there. So uh, every time I go, I go to archivers, so it's a big deal. So I'm very, very excited. I was able to get the Graphic 45 collection, which a lot of you ladies already have, but that was like, woohoo, super duper exciting. So these are some things, obviously I can't get a Michaels, so I got the Proper Gentleman, the Le Romantique, and then the On the Boardwalk. Um, just so you know, I might have to... Stop in a second, I do see my battery light going off on my camera, which seems to always happen. And then I got the memory making um, kit uh, passport, which I thought that would be great with some of the vintage stuff that we're doing nowadays. Cosmo Cricut Material Girl. Cosmo Cricut Garden Variety. Thrift Shop by October Afternoon and fly a kite and then I got the Kyoshi or Kiyashi uh, greeting card kit by basic gray and then I got the uh, nook and pantry greeting card kit by basic gray and then I got the capella line the collection pack basic gray again and the last basic gray I got was the Kiyoshi collection pack. And I also got some Heidi Grace. Uh, these are double shredded sheets. And this one's called. Sorry about all the racket. Hmm, it just says cardstock pack. Maple Crest Court. So I don't know what that is. Which I usually know most of the designs, but I don't know. It's cute, and it's, I like that it was double sided, so I love anything pretty much Heidi Grace and Basic Grace. So that's that part. Oh, believe me, that's not it. Okay, I gotta hang on just a second, and I'll be right back. I gotta put new batteries in. Okay, I'm back now. So, and then I got a bunch of these extra large uh, gromlets. I got those at Marshalls, of all places. I needed some of these for a scrapbook that I was commissioned to do. Couldn't find them anywhere. Everybody had them on these video. I bought over 20 packages of them. And plus, they were like half price. They're normally like $3.99. And I got them for two uh, large gromlets, too, since they had those, too. So, that's that. I'm involved in a tag swap that is being hosted by Marie from the Pretty Paper Boutique which um, I did her May one, which was Vintage Lady, and I loved it so much, I thought I would do another one. So, and these stamps are made by Hero Arts, but this this month is uh, Dress Forms. So, I bought one um, stamp already as a dress form, but I also liked this one too, but now I don't think I'm using any stamps, so we'll see. But I still liked it anyway, so pretty cool. And then I got this uh, stamp by um, Stampedus, and it is called the Clean Dream Text. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. Eh, maybe not. But I really liked it and had a really good words like dream, love, celebrate, wish. Wants it. So I got the word sticks and the trinket pins, the adage tickets, the journaling tickets, the mini paper clips, and I love those so much I thought I'm going to get two of those because I see how much people use them. I also got an additional 
Trinket pin. Um, philosophy tags. And I think that was it from Tim Holtz. Yeah, I think so. And then I got some Seven Gypsy stuff, some ephemera. And I like postcards and bingo cards and tags and stuff like that. And that one's called Ephemera. This one's called Gypsy. This one's called Vintage. Sorry, I'm probably not doing a very good job recording it. Happy about that. And then here's the 6x6 Kiyoshi paper pad, basic gray. And then I also got the mini deck and a material girl. And I got the 6x6 and the Capella. And then I got the 6x6 and the, what is this one called? Whatever. So I got that. I thought it looked like a G, so I got it. And then I got the Abba Bunny um, Mama Razi, Razi, excuse me, Mama Razi um, paper pad. And it's for the mini uh, edgy album. But I love the stuff that was in it. I mean, there's like some really cool stuff in here. You know, cameras and stuff. So I can use it for tags or whatever. It doesn't bingo cards, so Jenny Bowen bingo cards, and I got two packs of those. Um, these ones just are called the mini vintage. And then I got some vintage findings um, garment pins. And then I got the vintage finding poster stamps. And these are just something that were clearance there. The elements um, fabric brads. And then I got some elements um, pearls and pastels. And the last thing I got were making memory um, trims and ribbons and stuff like that. And it's the flutter. So I got all that. And then I'm going to show you one other thing here that I got. Sorry. Um, I got this box of three. And I got it at Marshall's also. Turn it around for you. These are actually the colors of my bedroom, but because it had the dark brown on there, I got it for in here. I was kind of running out of space for my stuff for my Cricut, you know, supplies, because I keep them out of the box. And, um, okay, sorry about that. I got cut off. My camera said it was full, so I had to delete a video that I had already done. So anyways, this is this uh, decorated box. It says Dream, and it's got magnetic closure. And then this is how I store my... Cricut booklets and overlays and stuff like that. There's my cords to my um, gypsy, and then I just kind of store my cartridges like this in alphabetical order um, with these little things. So, oops, sorry. <laughs> um, so, I just thought I'd show you that. It's a different way to store things, and it looks pretty, and you wouldn't assume my Cricut stuff is in there. But, um, so that's that. So um, uh, that's it for today, and I hope everybody has a great day and enjoys my fabulous goodies. I was so excited as soon as I saw the Graphic 45 stuff because I see everybody doing these videos with it, and I just can't get my hands on it. Um, like I said, I paid a pretty penny for it, and it's even hard to get on eBay. So um, just thought I'd share this with you, and hope everybody has a great Sunday, and stay crafty.